colleagues here and my friends. Uh, first of all, sorry for being late here and uh, thanks for your patience. Uh, I've never had such mixed feelings in my life. First was the most uh, disturbing one that uh, the flight is getting delayed. It was uh, frustrating after that, that they kept telling us uh, every half an hour that, you know, it's we are working on, on the aircraft and it has got technical problem. I tried to move my flight and I tried to get the other flight, which also apparently had technical problem. But the last feeling was the best one, that I'm sitting, I'm actually was able to be here and hold this book in my hand. It's, it's, it gives me tremendous joy. And, and above all, satisfaction, because I know exactly how big a role Rajpai played in my life to make me the cricketer that I am. There are, uh, there are uh, few instances which, which uh, I'd like to share with you. The first one was when I, when I was only 13 years old uh, and uh, CCI was playing against uh, Shivaji Park youngsters at Shivaji Park. And I scored some runs. Uh, mother of the sir is also here, and I can see him. So he played that game actually. Emon Kempe was there. Uh, uh, Milin Rege was also uh, present. Uh, and the entire full strength, I think, uh, CCI team was there. So I scored runs against CCI. Uh, immediately, all three of them went to Rajpai and said, uh, you must make him a CCI member. But uh, under 18s were not allowed. I don't know whether they are allowed now or not, but at least at that time, under 18s were not allowed to be in the dressing room. So Rajpai said, I mean, we, we have to make him play for CCI. So for him, that rule doesn't apply. He has to use all the facilities and make sure that he's happy with being at CCI because it was completely uh, a new environment for me and he was instrumental in making me comfortable and that is where the ball started rolling. Uh, the, next, the next one I can say is Kedash uh, Kitani is also here with us so it was uh, when uh, you came to me asking whether I'd, I'd like to be part of Star Cricket Club which would be touring England the month of May. But uh, I didn't have deep pockets. Uh, Rajbhai again was instrumental in finding a sponsor for me and making sure that I went on that trip. Uh, I clearly remember I, I, I met him here at the club and uh, he said in his own style that to me cricket kya hai baki sa kaam maja wati so right. So, you know, I mean, with with that kind of support and encouragement, all you want to do is go out and score as many runs as possible. Because that is something which uh, made him happy. And if someone is taking so much effort to make sure that all the facilities were provided for you to go out and express yourself in the middle, uh, it gave me tremendous joy to to score uh, in the finals here where uh, of Harry Shield. I scored a triple hundred and I could see that, you know, Rajbhai was uh, in his chair, he would always be there and various cricketers would join and have a chat with him. But while batting, I would notice that, you know, he's still there watching me, so which was a big thing. Uh, I I was uh, <laughs> advised by him once, so then when I played my first Ranji Trophy season, at the age of uh, 15 to be to be part of Mumbai Ranji Trophy squad, which had almost uh, eight Test players in the, in the playing eleven, was uh, something really 
special for me because you know just to be there as a ball boy was was a big big thing. And there suddenly you scored runs in school cricket, and you've been given a chance to share a dressing room with them and play a match with them. I I had done well in the first season. I was the highest run getter, and suddenly the media started discussing whether he should be there on the tour of West Indies or not. We were we were playing the Ranji Trophy semi-finals at C, uh, at one kid, and I was uh, warming up early morning, and uh, there I saw Raj Bhai walking next to the net, and he called me outside the net, and he said, "See, I want you to just focus on Ranji Trophy right now. I know there are been a lot of talks whether you should be part of Indian team now or not. Let me tell you now that you will not go to West Indies." Because he was then the the chairman of the selection committee, and he said, uh, after you have finished your Ranji Trophy, make sure you appear for your SSC exams. But I was still in school. Uh, obviously, I mean, the, that was that was my plan. Whether whether I got selected uh, for West Indies or not, I mean, I I had to appear for my SSC exams. Uh, I I felt. From from having a, a, a chairman of uh, selectors to the manager of Indian team, I've had the relationship with Rajbhai at different levels. First, uh, when uh, he was encouraging me as a youngster and uh, making sure that I got all the possible facilities, then picking me for the team, and then traveling with me. And uh, guiding me, I remember uh, whenever we sat with him, he would have amazing stories of the past and share those uh, wonderful anecdotes with us, uh, all the players. And we would be glued to to him because uh, you know we wanted to sit next to him and understand how the cricket has played in the past and from different different eras. I think, I think uh, not. Not just that, but he was he was more of a when he traveled with the team he was more of a father figure. Everyone looked up to him, everyone respected him, everyone wanted to be around him. To to say the least that uh, I think uh, Rajbhai has uh, played an immense role in uh, in in making me the cricketer that I am and giving me the opportunities that. I've had in my life. I am extremely glad and extremely happy that all my efforts didn't go in vain, and I got to launch this book personally. So once again, uh, thank you very much. And uh, I know that by somewhere in this room smiling at me, what have you been through today? So thank you very much again, and Rajbhai, we miss you. understood so i want to clear the record and say once again that kashmir and telangana are part and parcel of india only thing is we need to we should not share